Hey, everybody. How you doing? We are back. I am Rory. I'm all. And we are here to tell you that we are back on the road. We will be in Toronto on October 12th. We'll be in Los Angeles November 5th. London November 17th. New York City December 1st. We also have merch that's available at newrorymall.com. Subscribe to our Patreon. And, you know, give us, give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Smash the like button. Break your laptop or phone. Crack your screen hitting that like. Do whatever you got to do. Just go to newrorymall.com now. Get your tickets for the live show. Get you some merch. Subscribe to the Patreon. Subscribe here at the YouTube channel. Yeah. And we'll see you guys soon. No worry, and mouth. This isn't how I wanted to start, I promise, but it, it does appear that Maul is drinking breast milk. Uh, I thought it was that's calm. What the fridge looks like. Um, but now that time has passed. That's what you wanted to start with? No, that's not. I just <laughs> it. Now that time has passed from the past the phone game hmm. and people uh, have rewatched it, does anyone have any resentments towards what people were saying? No. Because we said we were going to play past the phone. For those that don't know, it's a TikTok game. We post it on our IG where you say something about someone else and then pass the phone to that person. We, we crossed the line on a few things. And if we're going to do another one, I, I need to know who's really feeling resentful. Because my album didn't go double copper. Oh, so it sounds like you're feeling very. <laughs> yeah, I'm recouped. like, yeah, like you're you're bringing this up, like, but you're the one that wanted to oh, talk. No, about. he didn't get no sleep after that. He recouped. <laughs> then <laughs> I started to look up what. Whenever you start talking about Rory's album, he don't get no sleep. If it's not something he want to hear, he's not going to sleep. The copper's it. valuable in the streets. People steal copper all yeah, the time. Yeah, we use it in our phone, so it's a compliment. Yeah. But then I was trying. Yeah, to if they're making a fucking uh, boiler or something. <laughs> <like that. laughs> if you had an album with original yeah, trying copper. To save my, my album was fire, right? Boil it. Never mind. I guess. Uh, mm-hmm. It's something there. It's some. It's something it's some there. Heat. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's, a, it's a low there. simmer. I yeah. mean, pennies it's are it's also made the of copper too. Yeah, yeah, but. just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit, not too much. Well, I was then trying to figure out what copper was like numbers wise, like Very platinum. Bad. No, no, no. Million. No. Gold. It's bad. Anything under, like maybe fifty thousand. Oh, then like most of us went. Copper. That's yeah. yeah. That's me and me lot. and her went copper. Damn. Yeah. Why got throw her in her? Yeah, she sold like thirty eight. Yeah, first I like, week. I like my company then. Yeah, copper's good. If that's the, me- I mean, but metric. that wasn't his first week. Numbers. Yeah, but going double copper, I think they were around twelve, <laughs> somewhere double around there. Copper. Double copper is. Oh crazy. yeah, that's penny. All right, yeah. I'll take it. That's penny. That's all right. Also, uh, er- telling everyone music. that, telling everyone that Demarcus slow that burner. She's <laughs> allergic to latex. <laughs> is fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> I did make that up. Have you ever told a guy that? I am allergic to latex. And I feel like I feel I'm like I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> see, if you, if you didn't see, see we're not doing that. You didn't man. see the video. We're not doing that. I passed the phone to Damaris after I said this person lies to men and says I'm a, I'm allergic to latex, meaning that she's trying to get them not to put a condom on. Which is apparently So what do you use? Like, use lambskin? No, skin. there are there are lambskin. No, she uses you go human bareback. Skin. <laughs> human skin. Bareback. Yeah. Skin to skin. And I feel like as a friend, like I had confided that in you before. And I, I don't f- think you did. And I feel like you just shared that with the world. Well, I, I confide like- my first week numbers to you and you <laughs> took it to the next level. Yikes. I padded them though. Copper was padding. Oh, damn. <laughs> Anytime you got a pad damn. with the copper. Anytime you got a pad with copper is crazy. 12K with on an independent, I think it's great. You, he did, ama- you did amazing, sweetie. You did great. Not, the sweetie? The sweetie. Yeah, the sweetie. Because it's, it's a sweetie and, and a sweetie. sweetie didn't sell a lot of records. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, you see what she was trying to do. You see what she's no. doing right there. Look, no, you're trying to call me sweetie. Yeah. That's, that's no, she cool. didn't try. That's what she called you. She called you sweetie. Yo, Maul instigate real bad. No, I don't. I should have listened to Vlad, man. Vlad said if sweetie would have done an interview, she would have sold 200K. Is that what he said? <laughs> Thank you. Let me, prom- <laughs> let me promise you something. She wouldn't have done 200K. Instead of the 8K she did? No, she wouldn't. Damn, she did 8K. Vlad gives that much of a bump in no, music? not at all. Nobody looks at Vlad. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Vlad didn't say 200K. He did say she would have tripled or doubled if she did an interview with him. Oh, okay. Well, she did what, 8? I can't remember. Somewhere around there. <laughs> so maybe she would have did 30. Maybe. No way. No. I don't think like... <laughs> it's not how and it This works. isn't a... a, a <laughs> <laughs> promise this isn't a shitting on Vlad segment. Or sweetie. <laughs> I think it would have a lot of impact on eyes on her. And I think people would click it because Vlad would ask questions people want to know about with sweetie. I don't know if that would entice someone from Vlad's audience to go, well, now I'm about to go listen to a sweetie album. She did 2000. That's sick. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, where does that come from? Though? I'm like, not what, I'm, No, what, listen, I'm like, not shitting on her promise. No, I just I didn't know it was two. It's just like, but that, could, that could be do poor. 12 and sweetie did two. It's not a knock at you. Damn. It's not a knock no, at I'm you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. She it's had not a McDonald's deal. That's because I did bootleg Kev. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, see, that's a, that, that was, was the difference yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, didn't know. She, she, sweetie didn't do I think bootleg she did bootleg Kev. Though. She did? I, th- I think there's a sweetie. Uh, the quote from Vlad was, if sweetie did uh, his interview, she would have easily done 10 times her first week sales. She did uh, She did bootleg So 20,000. Yeah. So 20. So she did bootleg Kev. Yeah. 2022. No She's, uh, listen, again, this is not anything personal with Vlad. That's just not true. Like, yeah, no. That interview would have done numbers. Yeah. Because... Vlad would have asked about Quavo and all the shit, but it wouldn't have been like, I have to listen to the Sweetie Project now. Nobody, I don't think that's anybody. The fault, though. I don't, 2K with Sweetie and the singles that she's had. She had a she, whole That's McDonald's. bad. Problems. She had a McDonald's like, deal, fam. Yeah, that's great. Now that's insane. That's they probably they McDonald's sold deal. more of her meal than they did Alice. <laughs> oh, well, Which 100%. Is prob- yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm not saying that as a diss. I mean, like, that's Just at true. the West 4th McDonald's Just alone. off me alone. What? <laughs> Edin at the West 4th McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> You That's cra- close. That's you, went, you, went crazy. Still got burnt down. you went crazy with the sweetie sauce? Yeah. Oh, whoa. whoa hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, man. Isn't that the name relax. of it? First of all, she's a woman. Okay. And I'm talking to a man. How is that a But you can't look at me as a man and ask me if I like the sauce. I said the sweetie sauce. You're looking at me in my eyes. Boy. So what? I'm talking about sweetie. Oh. Mm. It could be, I mean, you How? Didn't specify sweetie the rapper. You could have just been calling him sweetie. They call it sweetie and sour. <laughs> There was a salad? It's just sweet and sour. It's sweetie and sour. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's cute. Look at high fructose corn syrup being the first. <laughs> yeah. Now, hold up. What would be Rory's McDonald's meal? Uh, they dress me up as Ronald. No, the meal. You would. <laughs> <laughs> be clown sauce. You just a clown? <laughs> clown sauce. Clown sauce. Ginger clown sauce. sauce. Yeah, red yeah. sauce. There you go. Ginger sauce. Yeah. Red yeah. sauce. Okay. Like kind of like a like an orange chicken kind of vibe. If they if McDonald's did orange chicken, that'd be sick. I'm sure they do. Something. We should do a photo shoot like past. this for you guys, like a McDonald's remake. Like, why do you think we should do that? Yeah, why do you think like we should break do that? that down for us? Yeah, come on, pitch it. I think it'd be like great. No, no so, 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 give us come on, so, come on, okay, give us a pitch. I got you. I got you. Yeah, this is. I was at. A, I was at a label. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! So when Drake did the First of all, for nobody, her and nobody can tell me they were at a label. And you know? also leading with and Drake did this being the biggest artist. Yeah. Ever. I'm already kind of telling you. <laughs> no. Well, Drake did it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. The biggest artist. Now I'm so, like, now I'm so <laughs> stadiums now. So like, can we do it? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. No, so when on the Her Loss so, rollout, when they did the fake promo run, the mm-hmm. Vogue cover. We should copy. The, uh, whatever you can. It's in the same, similar vein. If you guys did a McDonald's campaign and we released it and promoted it as if it was official collaboration with McDonald's, we have a, you guys have a big enough following. There's enough credi- like credibility in the space that people would believe it. Mm-hmm. Put it out. See what happens. Like, Ma, I'd eat your meal. We, you would, would. we wouldn't get a C&D because we're not popular enough. But if we were, we'd get C&D. You would get, it would get traction. Oh, it would definitely get traction. That's the point. But I, but is there, but, all right, so what are we doing this for in hopes of getting a real McDonald's uh, meals? <laughs> no, I mean, it like, would be... I'm not mad. Like, you got to show me the end goal. Okay, though, well, like, extra fries well, in the bag. First, yeah. at first uh, it's it just would, extra it would, fries it in the would bag. be... Two barbecue sauces. Growth. People would know. People that aren't fans of the pop like, what is going on? And mm. find out. And <laughs> tour. Sell some tickets. Also, you could have a vegan meal. We would. How would we sell... McDonald's would buy tickets? No, oh. ass. This would go viral. <laughs> <laughs> this would go viral. And then people would be like, oh, who are they? Oh, look, they're also on tour. They're funny. This is funny. I want to see that live. You guys are not taking Julian serious. And I'm, I'm dead of- ass. Yeah. I think it would be funny I to do a version of this. Man. Yeah. So you think me pouring sweet and sour Well, we wouldn't do this shot. We would, would do your viral? version of this shot. What would, be, what would his version Dipping of nuggets and ketchup? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we could do like, yeah, yeah. I mean, all I could eat is the fries. We can, we can put you in a tub full of fries. Which I fully believe there's animal product. In you know when Tupac did that shoe in the tub? It'd be like that, both fries. Did you just call? Mallpoc. <laughs> I mean, I, I love like, your energy and your, your like, enthusiasm, yeah. but no. Let's let's go back to the drum boy track. Well, let's say if I never want to shoot down ideas. Always be creative. Look at that. I think that one maybe. <laughs> I we never want to shoot table. down ideas. Tupac yeah. did that. That's and, and sick with fries. Hip hop. So you don't think it we could cover you in fries? It. It was, so you think yeah, I'm gonna cover my crotch in fries? But like, it would be. We wouldn't just do the <laughs> bikini line. We would actually cover. We do like neck down. The bikini line. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's Tupac Shakur. You talking about? And this is something Edin is gonna shoot. So it's gonna be Maul and Edin in the bathtub. Well, why am I in the bathtub with him? Because you have to shoot it. Well, you'd be standing. You'd be straddling the tub. That's yeah, true. you stand over him. Yeah. Boss. I wonder what Edin, don't worry. This is never happening. Edin, the ceramic. <laughs> this is never happening. Damn. It's okay. How did they convince Pac to do this? Pac, that was Pac's idea. I still don't think that's Pac behind them, behind them hands. No, no, what do you mean? There's literally a picture of him. Oh, right someone there. redid it. Oh, no. Yeah. Hold on. You think that picture's never been remade? There you go. That's Pac right there. That's Pac. This is before AI. 
That's literally him. That's Pac, bro. And Allen Iverson. Hey, you don't, do you guys remember the Tupac Resurrection documentary? Yeah. <laughs> and this is back when Maul says, I just have weird memories. <laughs> At one point when he's narrating, he's like, no one could ever say I've been a sellout. And then they flash to this picture. I'm like, that That's director so was an up. asshole. Yeah, what a dickhead. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I get it. Is that selling out? This oh, picture? A little. What was this? I mean, if that's for? not what you're cool with, I don't. I think it was just a shoot. It's I mean, I think a- anytime rappers are in, you know, posing in these kind of, you know, risky positions, I think mm. that people are going <laughs> to kind of say, "Oh, that's he's selling out. He's this. He's that. Or she's selling." You know, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's gold, right? I mean, I mean it, it literally is gold on it. It's gold chains, gold watches, jewelry. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's part of the hip hop aesthetic. Um, I don't know if just covering, you know, your your crotch area with gold is hip hop, but. You think the ladies love this? I think, I'm sure the women were into that. I think the I mean, they women love I don't remember people, I don't, I don't remember girls being mad at this picture. I don't remember that. Maris, how does this, this picture make you feel? I'm actually extremely turned on by Pac in every picture but this one. This is gross. This is nasty. He's got his foot on the wall too. Like that's that looks like definitely not an adult size bathroom. I don't know if y'all know when, the, the the fifteen women fans that we have will understand this, but girls do that sometimes. Never mind. But girls are in that position sometimes underneath the bathtub. That's what that reminds me of when Why? they're trying to kill themselves. No, when they're letting the water flick their bean. Oh, What's wrong God. with you. I thought you uh, like under all is. Gotcha. I mean, Rory. No, is the, ble- thick. the bean was right. It's yeah. just that Rory's a little odd. Well, well I thought cause... you were saying like under. That's how they lay when they're under the water. That seems suicidal to me. It's harder to drown. Never I mean, they would, their wrists would have to no, be. No, you in don't. The water. You don't stop the tub. You just let it run, and it yeah. flicks the bean. The pressure. We're, we're talking about McDonald's and Sweetie. Wait, so you? That's he's. But his crotch is too far from the. No, you. Sco- well, he was scoot up and put his legs up more. Damn. I thought that's what you guys used Let's to not put that on for. Pac. He's not here to defend himself. That he, scoot, he scooted up and lifted his legs under the No, closet. I'm not. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> he's not here. Like, he's, come on. Let's not, not do that to him. I'm not putting that on Pac. I'm saying, but that's what that picture reminds me of. It's not a very attractive photo to me since y'all asked me. But well, I think Pac was an attractive For the right amount of bread, would you recreate this one? I, no, I don't I, know. I think I, it's never crossed my mind to do a... Photo shoot like, like a pop tribute. I don't like any photo shoots. But so in, in the same vein of us recreating a McDonald's ad, we should. You guys could recreate iconic hip hop photos. But with this McDonald's. would be <laughs> all right. See now, yeah. now you're onto something. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm saying like let's do hip hop has gone through many eras. A lot of them weird as shit. I think it's funny to no, for pay hip-hop. tribute hey. to some of the go- like people look at Tupac as. A, a, like a, you know what I mean? Like an anomaly, like a bigger than life character, all that, everything that you, you hear on a daily basis about the man. But these photos exist. Let's mm-hmm. highlight this kind of shit. I there's there's funny. other crazy hip hop photos that, oh yeah, I'm not just shitting on, like it's not For just example, a Pac thing. Who would want to recreate the Big Daddy Kane with Naomi Campbell and who was the other chick? Was it Madonna? Yeah. Mm, I think that's more mall style. No, me for sure. You, you would be Big Daddy Kane? Pull the photo up. So for the listeners, for the listeners, we are uh, producing in real time. This is this is what we're doing for future content. This is a production meeting right now. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, we I'm big. This is iconic. Photo. Sure. Greer yeah. can be Madonna. Who would be the one in the middle? The Demaris, one would in you the be middle, shirtless Naomi with Campbell. Paul's Jesus piece on. Yeah, who would mm-hmm. be? Naomi? Since your Big Daddy King, that would be fire. Yeah. Would you get a flat top? That can't be Maul, Demaris, and Greer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. Um, let's stay in the Tupac algorithm since that's a big part of YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, now that the dust has settled, how do you feel about Keefy D's house being raided? And him him now? I think that that's just, you know, they. I think they already said that they, the things that they found at his house have no connection to the actual, uh, the murder or anything like that. Like, I think that was just them pulling straws, trying to figure out something new. And they may have heard an interview and somebody said, well, maybe you need to investigate further. Like, but I think that they, they, uh, they made it clear that anything that they found at his house didn't have anything to do with the murder. I just think they just got into a corner because Vegas PD has done absolutely nothing <clears throat> since 1996. And mm-hmm. then there's a guy on a legit press run and a best selling book saying, Hey, I was in the car <laughs> Yeah, and, <laughs> and no one did anything. Yeah. So they just raided his house, but I still think he's going to get arrested. Keefe D? Yes. No, I don't think so. His, I don't know what lawyer he had, and I don't know shit about law stuff, but even I could figure out if I have a prof, proffer agreement with the LAPD about a crime I committed in Las Vegas, what the fuck does that mean? 
Yeah, LAPD couldn't arrest me for the crime anyways. Mm -hmm. So now I have a confession and Vegas you have no agreement with? I mean, he's going to jail. He he may be arrested, but I don't think they have anything to convict him of anything. He has about 17 different confessions and a book. Yeah, but then you still would have to prove it, though. You could say anything. Somebody can say anything on on an interview. But if you can't prove it, it means nothing. Well, I believe he he swore or whatever when he did the Greg Cading interview or confession rather but that was taped illegally so they can't even use that in court Mm -hmm. but he did like do the you know confess whatever you have to say before you give a confession Mm -hmm. to make it legit to be used in court Mm -hmm. he did that like he swore under oath yes with with greg kading that was in his proffer agreement that i am telling the truth i'm not just doing an interview on the internet yeah but that can't be used because greg kading being a media attention whore Tape that. He didn't tape that for justice. He taped that so he could put it in a, a book and do interviews. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still think he's going to get, they're going to find something. I don't think so. It's too many years have passed, man. Nobody has, still has evidence of a, one of the most notorious murders happening, like just sitting in their house. Like who the fuck would do that? I mean, it's like the rap version of Epstein. It'll just forever be a, who knows? I suppose. I just, some I, things aren't supposed to be. Solved. Solved, yeah. I mean, we know, we kind of sort of know what this is. Like, it, it, this isn't, you know, the older you get and you look back, Pac and, and, and Big and these guys were 25, 24. Crazy. When all of this happened. Crazy to think. This is no different than what goes on now. Like, it's, 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 it's hip hop artists having entourages that get into it with other street guys and street shit happens. Like, that's what this is. It just happens to be that Tupac was the victim here. What I also think is sick. I was watching uh, another video of Compton PD officer talking about the day that the alleged killer, Orlando Anderson, was shot and killed for a separate event. And as he was dying, the first thing the cop asked was, did you kill Tupac? Instead of asking about the current crime that was happening. Mm -hmm. Three dead bodies around him. And he's asking this guy about a rumor. Yeah. Like not who just shot you, which is like a typical thing that cops would ask. Yeah. So I think that's actually a thing. What, uh, death confessions can mm-hmm. be used in court. Mm-hmm. And you went, did you kill Tupac? It's the, <laughs> oh, what? That's what did so he say? He, he died. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, like fighting for my life. I'm not sitting there giving confessions. Like I'm yeah. bleeding out right I'm now. bleeding out. And, but like why? I don't understand when there's a triple shooting. <laughs> First of all, it's going to take you a second to recognize who that is. Mm-hmm. And then to then go, well. Forget these other guys. Yo, what about Pac? <laughs> Crazy. Do y'all Six think that? Do y'all think that they'll uh they'll try to kill Donald Trump? No, no. I think so. Like act like who who who's they? Just they. You don't think he'll there'll be an assassination? I think so. I think that, but it does. I, does it even matter? But that's the thing because I remember when Obama was in office, that was just the start off rumor, and even then I was like, nah. Even though the circumstances, I feel like could have been way worse. Donald Trump is just that dude's surrounded. He is surrounded. I feel like if Do- I feel like Donald, you would have Trump, to be so internal. Donald Trump does not even not even if it's possible to kill him, but even wanting to kill him, I feel like Donald Trump does enough damage to his own reputation for them to. I don't think they're really worried about him. No, nah, I think a Starting, lot. Of people, I think also, people are worried. But about most him. most of the, if you look at the presidents that they've said would be assassinated in the last ten years. None of them were really doing anything that was drastically impacting the inner structure. Because the only people that could really kill the president is the CIA, if we get down to it. Yeah. So if they're still playing ball and not affecting too much and just being this face, why kill them? What was the like last- JFK was a little deep because that was getting into some waters where he was legitimately going to change the inner circle structure. So he had to go. And he didn't play ball with the mob and the mob and CIA got excited like, hey, we could be friends now. And... That happens. Interesting. No, no president has really drastically changed anything within the American structure as of lately. There's only been four assassinated presidents, right? Abraham Lincoln, James Garfield, uh, William Kinley, uh, and John F. Kennedy. The last attempt, though, was in 2017 uh, when someone in North Dakota tried to kill Donald Trump. So that's kind of crazy. Bush ducked that shoe. That was good reaction. Could that was a good reaction. Say what you will about, about W. Yeah. It was two. He he bobbed one yeah. and then went the other. He would like, be the one that I would have thought they would want to kill over Trump. No. To be real. Yeah. Everyone made what? You know how they much money so everyone much made money when, when Bush he was, was in office? That's true. If they, he would be the first one they would give a third fucking term to. I think, they, I they, think, talk about a, they talk about economy. I mean, we all suffered 
because of Bush, but you know, That's pres- what presidents are here to make us suffer and everyone else rich. Bush probably made more money for, I'm not going to say deep state because that's way too QAnon, but yeah. the inner state than probably any president we've seen in our lifetime. They went great. They're still spending that. Mm-hmm. That Iraq war, Take, everyone's pockets. They still spending that that gun money and that yeah. them uniform money, all of that shit. They spending that shit like a Catholic's communion money. I think that if they, I think that if Trump wins the presidency, they're going to try to assassinate him. I just I, who though? Who is they? The, That's why I keep saying what the people, the government. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I think I he plays. I think winning. Trump plays ball more than we think he does. I think a lot. I think Trump is one of the most brilliant marketers ever, and he seems to be a disruptor. And I don't think he's much of a disruptor. What? I think it's. I think he's his marketing power compared to his actual power. The show, yeah, yeah it looks like he's things. disrupting. But like, I'm talking okay. about the real shit that we're not privy to. Nothing's. He's still playing ball. Like, what do you think I, would be the final straw? I don't know, man. But I just. I feel like. I feel like we don't. I feel like as as society, we don't. We wouldn't even care. I think if we open our phone right now and no, see I that would. Donald Trump was assassinated, what? nobody would give a fuck. No, I think that'd be crazy. No, I, whole, half the, whole half whole half of the country would because all they want, because all all they're gonna do now is just roll out some other shit that's gonna take our attention away from that. Like then they'll show us the aliens getting off the UFO. Mm-hmm. The aliens did it. No, they'll just show us that. Like they'll just start pumping that through our phones. Like, oh, we finally have footage of aliens landing, and this is them getting off the. Like that's going to take our attention away from the fact that the right, president just like got Joe killed, Biden. like the original moon landing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like that's whole. Like, they're just going to give us something that's like, oh shit! Like, but that's that's with they just rolled out two it's with every quote unquote alien corpses, and we don't give a fuck about that. That shit it wasn't I mean, real. That was not real. Yeah. They were very obviously. Missing. But what if they real? We, we just uh, wave yeah, it I'm, off like, yo, nah, that's not real. Like, I still, I still think they could be. It's that shit was not real. But well, why, why do you, this, why would you but, think that? But this is what I'm trying to guy, tell you. The guy that led with that offered that information as a history of lying and making shit up like that. Like he, there was, this wasn't like his first time doing this. First so like a, caught in the this is like his third lying. show and tell. He's low key. He's like, all so right, like a let's government official. Paper mache this time and see if that works. No, like he's doing what the government does. Well, he said they were like mummified. At the end of the day, mummies are just paper mache that lasted longer. True. High key. It's like that they were just well kept paper mache. I still can't believe they opened them big ass boxes in them two little ass. Yo, I thought we was about to see some crazy shit. They were just trying to respect them. You know, sometimes people want like the chariot casket going. They just, the aliens wanted to be It's like if you go to a funeral and it's a big casket and you open it and it's just like this little thing sitting. You're like, yo, all right, fam. Y'all couldn't get something. I've never sat at a big funeral budget. and thought, <laughs> why is this tiny body? No, I'm just saying because, because the, the body fits the casket. It's but that's weird. what I mean. Like, what if they bring out a big casket at a funeral and they open the casket for the final viewing? And it's Wee Man? <laughs> yeah, it's just like this little thing. I won't be like, I'm like, all right, fam. Y'all couldn't get a smaller casket? I know we talked about funerals uh, a few episodes ago, but I'll pose another question, not to get too dark. If you knew you were about to die in like a month or two, would you start planning your funeral? No, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not it's like my own birthday. I'm not trying to yeah. plan that shit. Why would you plan your death date? Yeah. I mean, I know, to- it, I know it's coming, so like maybe I want it to go so the you way. You might as well start now then if you really want like, it. I would, I would just leave a bunch of like voice notes like that you could push when you sit in the pews. Like personalized ones of, but like nothing deep or like. I would probably. Push. It, all, it would be like the way we played past the phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your breath stinks. <laughs> yeah. Next. Like, <laughs> I would treat my funeral like the end of why did I get married at the dinner scene? Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone grieving to just ending up to hate me. I don't know if I would plan it, but I would definitely like want to shoot like a like a long video. For sure. Of just like me just saying random shit, getting shit off, maybe just directing it towards certain people. Yeah. But I don't know if I would plan like the funeral. I would say, yo, don't put me in this color. Whatever y'all do, don't put what me color? in this What color? What color would you color? not want your casket? Mocha? I, I don't want to. No, don't put me like in a white suit. Mm. Please don't do that. Why? But you're an angel, Mom. What? That's yeah. true. You're an angel. Don't put me in a white suit. You're an angel. Don't yeah. do that. God chose you. I will be upset if they put me in a white suit. God needed a strong you soldier back. You're dead. I'd rather. I'd so be what? I'll still be upset. They put you in like a red suit or something. But this big bee's over here. What you talking about? It's not. <laughs> get your shoes. Yeah, no. yeah. Look at your hat. So off there. I'm, off the, I'm, off, I'm off the grid today. You're off the blood clock. Yeah, I'm off the yeah. grid today. I'm listening to the Love album though, so that's that's right. There you go. That's big, right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, but what? What's wrong with the white suit? You I just, I don't think you, I just would never wear a white suit. Would you want a hat on? Cream. What about cream? No. Oh. What a waste of fabric. Did you just go in butt ass? <laughs> yeah. No. Same way you came in the world. I'm not saying for the wake. Like we should just leave dead people. 
for a viewing. Yeah. But ass. But there should be like hand me down suits or like just you know. I'm we sure have, we just have death happen. suits that we reuse with other dead people. Yeah. How do you reuse why? them if the suit gets? Oh, you're saying take the suit. Oh, off. if they spill something on it while they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they stain it, take it to the cleaners. Spill some dirt on it. <laughs> you don't think that's like a huge waste of fabric? No, I think that if your loved one is passed and you want to. You know, dress them up nicely. I feel like there's a no. I'm pack. saying that can happen for the for the funeral. You say Even the casket. Take everything Once it's them? over, strip them, put them in a box that's going to biodegrade better. And oh, you talking about cremating? That's cre well, true. Cremating. But pe some people don't want to be cremated. Yeah, I don't want to. But be there cremated. are better ways. I, like my yeah. my oh, grandfa my grandfather's Catholic and and super Catholic. Did not want to be cremated. We did not cremate him. Yeah. So we ended up spending a lot of fucking money, and I haven't I haven't seen the casket since. Yeah, my mom got well, cremated. Well, or the not, suit that we put them in. Yeah, I haven't seen either side. You're not, you're not supposed to. I know, so what's the point? Yeah, that's how they want to go. It's not about you. How are you making somebody's funeral about he's you? he's a narcissist. <laughs> no, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm making this all, I'm making this about mankind. We're oh, wasting man, too much fabric. Mankind. We're, mankind. We're, you don't speak for mankind. What's wrong with you? I saw you put a plastic cup in the regular fucking trash. I use uh, the paper straws now. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the worst shit ever. Yeah, that's the worst. No, I'm not saying for me. I just think we can have the show and then reuse it. To for who, though? The next dead person. Yeah, but I don't why want you to put a... Why are, why are we spending 10K on a fucking casket that's never going to be seen it's again? It's a business. It is a business. I, I know. So why don't... And I'm sure that's not great for the earth. Probably not. No, of course not. But we've been doing shit that's not great for the but earth. I, but I, I, do, I do agree with what you <laughs> said. Uh, once, once the show's done, put, strip them down, mm -hmm. put them in a box that's going to fire a great... Okay, and but put them what the if ground. you found out you shared the same suit as like a child molester? How am I going to find out? Your family would know. No, they won't. You think they tell them? Like, hey, they're going to do who, reset. They're going to do a who, Yelp on that suit. They, they're <laughs> it's if, like, what are you talking if about? If we're doing suit. Yelps on like used funeral clothes. If we're, if we're sharing suits, I would want a log of, hey, who else had their wake photos taken in this suit? Wake That's photos? That's a sick Who log. does wake photos? I'm just saying, like, I don't, want, I don't want the cloth on my back to be a guy that was like fucking uh, like a Nazi. Oh, that's, you know how. But they dressed that fucking was, beautifully. You know yeah. what? And they gave us a, it was all Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss. Hey, you <laughs> it was all Hugo Boss. And, and they gave us Adidas. So those boss suits. Did yo, what, yo, what kind of shoes would you have on? Like some hard bottoms. Like some ones? Nah, you better not bury me. I'm not getting bottom. buried right. no hard bottoms. I'll compromise. You have to be buried in clothes you already purchased. Okay, that makes okay. sense. Okay. Like, nah, like fuck a Duce Palooza shirt? You can't put me in a, <laughs> You can't put me in an outfit that niggas like dat me up in before. That you have on Instagram already? Yeah, like, yeah. yo, that's, that's creepy as fuck. Why is that creepy? Think that's creepy. To see somebody in a, a, a outfit that you saw them in like while they were alive? Okay, but some suits don't oh, very much. Kind of I've been to wakes and funerals where a suit, I've seen them in a suit before. Yeah, but if they bury me in this right here, yeah, not, <laughs> it looks cozy. That's not creepy to you? Nah, no, that'd be wild. No, they're going to bury you in that suit you wore to the skit yesterday when we filmed. <laughs> no, mm. not, not that one. I, you want to be buried in a suit? No, nah, I, I think I want to be buried what in like... What do you want to be buried in? Something want? comfortable? Would, we're, we're I sleep naked too, though, so I might just want to be butt-ass. Yo, it might really be something wrong with you. There, it, I there, no, there seriously is. I want to be buried in something comfortable. You can't feel that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maul, would you want to be buried Thank you, thank you. I trapped you. Gotcha. You're now just, you just proved my point. Oh yeah. No, I did not. Yes, you did. You what's did. the point? Because what's the point? <laughs> because it's about it's about the presentation of the, the body, the, the body, not the comfortability. Yeah, at the show. It's for, the Calling funeral's the not for you, hilarious. bro. It's for everybody. What else. is it not? <laughs> at Rory's like one last go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is it, it not a show? Funerals are funerals are for the living. It's a celebration of life. It's a celebration of rarely, you know, memories. Not that really. You have not in like this religion. It's like it's sad as fuck. No, y'all make funerals sad. Well, I mean, what are kind of like their yeah. religious? Their religions where funerals are really celebrations. Yeah, like a lot, hundred percent celebrations. Like I've been to someone, I'm like, oh, this is totally different. Like, there's not many people crying. It's music, live instrumentation. It's damn, that's kind of lit. What yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a real celebration. I don't, I don't know what Yo, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piano. Can I, can I have a, a a very white confession? Yeah, this is becoming a theme. All your confessions. You mean are just white. regular? Drink some breast milk. When we were uh, nice. The next time I went to that small town that we all went to Listen. in Mexico, um, you know, it's not a lot of cell service there. Mm -hmm. And I walked from town. So like I didn't have any cell service till I got to the middle of town. So once my phone started vibrating, I looked down and turned into like a white American, not looking around my surroundings at all, just focused on fucking Twitter and texting. And in Mexican culture, like they walked the casket around the whole town. It's oh like, a, it's like oh, yeah, a thing. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
like street to street so everyone in the town can see and participate. Mm -hmm. I was standing in the middle of a funeral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I put my head up and just saw a casket and smelt that Catholic uh, incense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it took me a, a second to register. And it was towards the night, so like the light from my phone is just on my dumbass right face. face. Like, like a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> And Damn. the person I was with grabbed the back of my shirt, like, get out of their funeral. <laughs> Yo. They were like, why is Canelo here? <laughs> <laughs> Pay respects. Yeah. He's my favorite fighter. White people make so many mistakes when we travel. What do you mean? We just, we just really think our world is everyone else's world. Oh, like, just, that's a norm. That's like a similar conversation that we had. That's not just traveling. That's like just living. About who? That's life. Yeah. Oh. That's yeah, life for the white people. When I go to resorts, I get really mad when they don't speak English. That's see that proves you I don't are. Go back to you that get mad when they don't speak English. I get so irritated. I understand, but it's really irritating. Like when you're out of the country and they don't speak you're English. Yeah, when you country. when you go to their land and are abusing well, it, their. It, but it I'm depends. at a resort. It depends but because who made or the people that are at the front desk. Both are the, the the people who I'm trying to order my food through. Those use, those people usually speak English. Yeah. they're at a resort. It's if not they, perfect if they English, have to do like a lot of like one on one with like guests. Like most most resorts have people that speak. They're bilingual. They speak English as well. Is it because it's not perfect English? When I was in Mexico the last time, I was trying to tell the lady at the front desk that I broke a glass, <laughs> and she, I me no English. Yo, shorty, I need a broom. Like, and she didn't speak English. Yeah, really in her home country, that sucks. <laughs> After you broke the glass. After you, yeah. yeah. After you, you broke She didn't break the glass. Yeah. It's her fault. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's how it goes with America. El Broom? Huh? Did you say El Broom? Damaris is up there like this. I mean, honestly, that would probably be the best thing. No, I just Just do up. sign language. I Translation app. Yeah. I was about to say, like, you have a phone in your hand. Like, you could easily just, like... I would love that's to see Damaris That's effort. Up. How? A lot of effort. Google Translate? Like, you literally... drunk as fuck. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, like, that's, that is yeah. like... Okay. Demaris wasn't doing that sober. Got you. It's like, what the fuck? Like, slurring in the translator app is funny. <laughs> so you could just... <laughs> if you don't know how to <laughs> spell... Just type in... You don't know how to spell the translate. Like, I don't know Sounds what you're like talking Sounds like me about. reading ads. I have um, a question for you guys since we're talking about old stuff. If you could go back and exist at any time in like a bulletproof chamber, chamber and be invisible, so you'd be watching but not partaking... Where would you want to go? Like what era, what period? Like if you could do a safari of history. Yeah, so just uh, off the top of my head, 9-11. Uh, I knew he was going to were that. You were there. Yeah, well, my uncle uh, was. Y'all all, all want to see tragedies? I would, or or the bomb, the atomic bomb drop. Imagine being there for that. That'd be kind of, that'd, that'd be, be fucking fun. lit. That'd be oh, Oppenheimer's lit. I don't want to see that. What would you want to see? The Lakers win another see, ring? Like I'm, I'm just saying, like what you guys, would, you guys would want to see positive shit? Yes. Not, not gonna lie. The, Why would you want to see death and destruction and people being blown to pieces? Yeah, that's that true. happens all the fucking time. Yeah, I would that's like to be there. That. I would like to witness the major marquee moments of those in history. I don't know about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what do you want to see? Beyonce do Super Bowl halftime? Who gives a fuck? It's on YouTube. Why is that now, the first one you Now, in this to? hypothetical thing, this would be like something you type in to go to, right? And then you just I would just start typing in a bunch of events from the New Testament just to get the era message. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Because it, it never happened. Because it never happened. Yeah. You can't visit <laughs> Harry Potter. Land. Let me see what the Red Sea was like. Error. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, error. It, didn't, it didn't part. <laughs> Ma, what moment would you want to see? Um, Adam and Eve, it's like, what are you talking about? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Exactly. Yeah, it's like something real. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd like to experience the Big Bang. Pause. Hey, yo. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of lit. Because like then you could see dinosaurs. That'd be cool. Wait, do like, I get a fast forward button? Because it, it took a while. I was going to say, because that takes a long Not time. Not the click remote. Yeah, I need the click No, remote. you just see the it moment. It took seven days. You just see the moment. Of the bang okay. and that's it? Well, I guess a week, a week of dinosaurs would be kind of chill. That's true. No, wait, wait. Y'all think it's just Big Bang, then dinosaurs? <laughs> that's not how that went. Yeah, and then the... The comet came. No, like you get the dinosaur era and then the comet hits, but you stay for like a week. You the book Big a Bang week. and the dinosaurs are two different. Yeah, there was, the no, Big it was like Bang back to back. is the inception of the world. Yeah. Yes, and but then the I dinosaurs think. are a whole different. And then yeah, once yeah. it once it banged, T Rexes. <laughs> it went and bang. <laughs> yeah, shot it. It went bang bang, and yeah. then then you got a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> and then it said it in the world. Ah, ski ski, and then dinosaurs popped up. Viking time could be funny. <laughs> what time? The Viking time, like what of Vikings course it would be funny for you. For you. I mean, and, and you get like a boat tour. No, but that's the thing. They don't know you're there. So like they wouldn't be like, oh, get him too. Like he escaped. Like they wouldn't do that. They would just be <laughs> like a ghost. You would just be a, like pretty much a ghost. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I'd like to see Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson record the Scream music video. 
I mean, there's probably BTS. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys, I can't believe you guys are picking things That's within what I'm you're picking the 1900s. That like 30 years ago. <laughs> see it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can pull it up on but your I phone. Get it. Yeah, it's probably on VH1 right. Storytellers. <laughs> VH1 Storytellers. <laughs> it's definitely on there. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny. I don't know. I, w- I would want to see something um, like a like a political figure or somebody, like maybe like Dr. King, like giving a speech or something like that. I would just want to be around like that in that moment. Uh, I guess just so. to kind of like cool. feel that, just to see what people were like, like what the you know black people were like and what they were going through. I would I would want to see like Harlem in like the sixties. I would like what moment? That. Just like a day we're in there. Harlem. Just like yeah, just to see it. I just would like to see like the communities that I live in and I and I navigate through now. I would like to see them like in a time where I wasn't like even though I could pull images up now. I would want to like be there. Yeah. Just to like you know, see what was going on. Like really, like you get stories about shit that was happening. Mm. But then it's like years have passed. Y'all done added so much extras onto this shit. It's like, I want to see it when it really happened. What Does anyone want to go back to see themselves lose their virginity? That'd be fun. No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. That'd be a fun watch. No. <laughs> no. Jesus no. Christ, no. no. I thought I was doing something. Too. What about the inception of you? No. no. Oh, what? Well, what? what? I was talking about huh? that. No. No, the inception would, of, of Christ. I would want to see my mom as like, a, a kid, though. Yeah. If I had a couple of options, too, I would take every major religion and go to each time and sort this whole thing out. When a guy wrote a like book? Who, like, who's telling the truth and who's not? I'd want to see what... I, that's what I'd really want to do. I ain't gonna lie. I would definitely want to go back and see the, the first nigga that made a, a cheeseburger. That's not that long. Yeah, I think you it was in New Haven. Meat. Yeah, it wasn't that long. No, I just want to see like who, like at the it's moment... still open in New Haven. The moment yeah, still, he came the, up the, with it... The place is still open. That No, I wanna, I'm talking about the person... That actually no, no, it. yeah, they like the his like grandson makes the burgers yeah. now. All right, so again, <laughs> the person that actually made the first hamburger. Oh, I would man. want to be right there to see that. Like, you, do you know uh, how that you saw the first job? Nineteen twenty-four. <laughs> he was sixteen years old. It happened in uh, like a sixteen-year-old creating Pasadena. one of the most notorious. Like, oh, he was high. Yeah, that's you know, hundred percent. I, I got. I want to see that. I want to see where it came together. And he was just like, well, oh, all it is this. is really meatloaf on the bread. It He's, was. He he just like took two slices. Well, and bread. to clarify, they say allegedly the burger's been around for thousands of years, but the American stylized burger that we know and love is since the twenties. Yeah, yeah. Like I want to see the guy that the first like when he made it the first burger. Like, cause I know he had to look at that shit. Like, I just did something. What it was it not called? when they wrote the Declaration of Independence, though. No, 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 no. that's how that when he they put just signed a paper on a, on a piece of. Meat. Honestly, they really just sign a fucking paper. Like, that's not that interesting. And as a vegan picking that, that's hilarious. That's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's the burger though. It's like you think that tasted good. Well, what about the moon landing? If you type that into the thing, it says error. And it brought you to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, it brought you to Universal. It brought you to Studios. Sunset. It brought you to Universal Studios. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called when the when alcohol was banned? The Prohibition. Prohibition. I would want to see that. Why? You're Why? It's a great show. Classic. Cause, cause Boardwalk those, Empire. Watch yeah, it. there you go. Exactly. But but those times, they were kind of lit at those times. It was like secret parties and shit. All the speakers. You weren't allowed, but you know, that's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> no, but in this scenario, you could go. Yeah, exactly. But why would I want to go be around a bunch of people and hear them calling me niggers? No. You know, they I don't know. Niggers. They, they wouldn't be invisible. allowed in the yeah. building, so they wouldn't just say it. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, who was the first person that said, yo, nigger? I don't want to see that. I want to see the first. I want to see the first person that was called a nigger. Why? Like I want to be here in that moment. That right. was probably like a rap of him royalty. Yeah. <laughs> like I want to be there in that moment where the first person called a black person a nigger. That was well, a moment I mean, of confusion. I'm sure. Like, apologies what? for asking this. What is the origin of why that word negro means black? I, I figured I it, it was came black. from that, but how did they just like remix it? Like <laughs> that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Like how did it get I to wanna that? Be, I want to be. I want to be there when the first person like said it. Well, we should look into the etymology of that. The first person who said it, or like the first time like, someone really got offended by it. No, the first time somebody said the word. That's it. But I feel like they would just be confused. Oh man, this is a deep history. Yeah. We're See, that's what I'm saying. I want to be there. Yeah. Uh, it looks like around the 1800s. Nigga <laughs> started in Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> 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 Wait, what does that say? In 18- Do we owe the South an apology? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In 1837, Hoska Easton. Oh, no, black minister the, from Hartford, Connecticut. That was the hot line. The South made it a hot song. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was the, he was the first one to write about. Oh, I word. thought they said it, it started in Hartford. I'm about to say now we got to put some more respect no. on Connecticut. Wait, no, what? No, no you can get no, no, you can no, go get no. the first cheeseburger and you can. <laughs> The first that, nigger. Two person, yeah. Get a two, two first. Person yeah, and I'm sure that. the first person to use nigger probably wasn't even meaning it to be disrespectful. I mean, I don't know. While he was probably abusing a black person? That's what I'm saying. That, that might have been like the... 
Does I don't know the origins, but well, the I root. I mean, it's like, it's like most. Like, it's a, it was a part of the Romance language, and the root is black. In Latin, ni- Niger is means black, so it's a it stems from that. But when did it become? Because the 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 root in the etymology of the word is different than when it became a slur and an insult. So I want to see when it turned. Turned. It's not. I think that was just progression of of things. <laughs> like you I, think when Portuguese <laughs> settlers just like went to Africa or wherever, they're like they're they look like that color we love. Because I feel like, you know, we look at things in our history books and, and we look at like old film and stuff like that. But I feel like conversations that were being had in those moments is similar to conversations that happen now. That's what I would want to see when film first started. Because I know that was tripping people out. Oh, I, th- I mean, the aliens definitely taught us that. Yeah, for sure. Well, well, look at this fun survey from 2006. The American public widely see the word as wrong, obviously. Well, not obvious, but nearly half of the whites they and two thirds of blacks knew someone personally who referred to blacks by the term. Nice. With the ER? You think in an endearing way? No, definitely. In 2006? <laughs> Do y'all, have y'all ever had a non-black friend, and this is more of a serious question, had a non-black friend say the no. word nigga and you had to check them? Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm different when I have white that, woman. Though. Like I know people that it was it was a thing a while ago. People were upset that Fat Joe was saying nigger, and I thought that that was hilarious. But he wasn't doing the whole. I'm like Fat Joe is a is a Puerto Rican from the Bronx. He can definitely say nigger. Like, are you kidding me? With, like, not the hard ER though. That's the, no, but if, in context, like you could be like, "Yo, what's up, my nigga?" Like in his uh, raps, like they were offended that he was saying it in his raps, and I'm like, "Wait a minute." I grew up in the in the middle of the Bronx. Filipinos like, say it sometimes. Like I don't. I grew up with Cambodians. Like we just said that. Great breast milk. Growing up, nobody was offended yeah. by that. Now, if a white person said it, then of course it's different. Right. But as far as like Spanish people and and other people, like that shit was never. This that's a new thing with people getting offended by Latin people or Spanish like saying that. That's a new thing. But I think that was unique. not. That was not a thing growing up. But that I was think that's real. unique to New York in your case, because like there's other Spanish communities and yeah, New outside now. of New York that weren't like ingratiated in like black culture that when they say it, it doesn't have that same context as in your case, like a fat Joe that grew up here, lives here. That's what the people he was mm-hmm. around. But like a Spanish person that I can't wherever as somewhere else in like middle America where there where there aren't those kind of populations. then it's like, well, why are you saying that? Mm hmm. And it's also, I mean, Mo, I, I, I get what you're saying about that. And we've had this conversation before, but that also brings up, that brings up the the Eric Amina spice point. Whereas, yeah, you're associated with black culture and you're you. taking black dick and everything's cool. But then when it comes time, a black woman offends you. Now she's a monkey. Now you are drawing that distinction of mm-hmm. you not being black when it benefits you. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of where that conversation is. Everybody want to be a nigga until it's time to be a nigga. Well, black people is the same for black people. Black people want to be niggas until it's time to be niggas too. That that's just a thing. Like, if but we saying, are niggas. We can't change that. Yeah, but uh, when I say like, as far as like, you going back Sammy to the insult, using I was the insult. Say Sammy did his best. You you saying like as far as insulting, using the word to insult, like the whole Erica Mena yeah. thing, like that's just a certain level of ignorance coming from her because I mean, she's entrenched and she has black children. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just you know a level of ignorance, but. Me growing up in the Bronx, I never had an issue with any Spanish person saying, yo, what's up, my nigga? Yo, my nigga was good. Like, that was just part of us growing up. Like, again, that's something now that people look back and say, hey, that may be kind of wrong. They shouldn't use the word. shouldn't use the term. I mean, if you're offended by it, there's people that are offended by things that I would never be offended by. So that's, I guess, it's just all subjective to who you ask. Yeah. To me, I'm not offended by a Dominican person or a Puerto Rican person saying, hey, what's up, my nigga? Like, that's not... Block. I think okay, the, the real issue is trying to figure out when honky was invented. Honky is mm. kind of funny though. It's, equi- it's equivalent, right? Honky is equivalent to the N word. What's the what's the? I it, think Elvis might have invented the word honky. Honky? Well, he definitely made it popular. A white person invented honky. I would assume. I would have to believe so. Black people ain't just come up with honky. That's some white folk shit for us. That's a pretty honky. funny word. It's hilarious. That's a word I think. We uh, should the bring first back. recorded use was in uh, 1946. <laughs> <laughs> Although honky tonk has deeper roots, I think my favorite is like new renditions of white people names, like cotton swabs. That's, Sorry, what? Who's calling white people cotton swabs? <laughs> who's ever said that? Cauliflower crunchers, <laughs> dandruff cl- clumps, Elmer's glue, frosted chicken. Nobody said that's not real. It is. Nobody Where just calling white people. We on Urban Dictionary. No, what, was, what was the? Was it? Uh, Mayo packets? snow roaches. Snow, snow roaches, roaches is my favorite. Funny. I've never heard snow that. Roaches? Funny, snow roaches. Snow roach. No purpose flower. 
Come <laughs> on, <laughs> these are real terms. That's pretty funny. They're like they're not like they're like just names people. I've never to. heard that. Yeah, you've got mail, voicemails. Uh, let's do it. I have a two parter. Okay, it's um Part some it. flowers coming your way, Rory, on your double copper, and then uh, love it. We'll get into some relationship advice. Thank you for contributing to the to the copper. Mm-hmm. What's up, Rory and Maul? Uh, this is Jordan calling from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, shout out Julian, Edin, Damaris, all of you guys. Love the pod. Yummy, you as well. Can't forget you. Um, my first question is actually for Maul, and I want to know whether it is hip hop or not to drop album of the year and then not go on tour because that's pretty much what Rory did. He made a phenomenal project. I love it. I listen to it every day. And I need more. The clock's ticking, Rory, like you said. So we either need a new project, tour, or something, bro. A new project. Um, my it's favorite been track three on months. There is actually not me. And he goes, Oh, she wanna be a Cinderella. I don't <laughs> have a heart to go and tell her. Hey now. It's not me. Hey. And that actually resonates a lot in my life right now because I'm 24, about to be 25. I'm a single man. And so I'm seeing multiple girls, I guess, right now. I'm just well, I'm like in the dating pool and like dating around and stuff. And my mom taught me to be respectful, be a respectful young man and things. So I try to do that with every girl that I'm talking to. And there's this one girl that I'm not really feeling anymore and I want to pursue other options. But like she's really nice and hits me up and like we see each other and like hang out and stuff. But I'm kind of not feeling anymore. So how do I let her down gently without like really hurting her feelings? Um once again, shout out to you guys. Love the pod. Julian, if you ever in Nash, you make a killing, my boy. So get down here. He's saying there's a lot of white women <laughs> in Nashville. That's what he was saying. If, if you if you couldn't read through on. the lines there, that's what he was saying. You make a killing, my boy. A lot, lot of white in Nashville. Yeah, they out there. Numbers for a bachelor party. They out there. The white people's Atlanta. A lot of white. It's, it's that's not, the white it's people's fun, Atlanta. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Nashville's a fun time. It was just that crowd. It's rough. like bourbon. What? Not bourbon. Broadway. Oof. It's like it's all like, bachelor and bachelorette parties. All the country music scene. Is there too all the offices? So yeah, I can see it being the white people's Atlanta. I'm sure, like off the beaten <laughs> no, path. No, it, it, like it's fun. Universal country, like their biggest offices in Nashville. Sony too. Yeah, and Nashville is a, is a dope city. Though. I like Nashville. I had a good time. I went to so Rory, starting off, right? Um, what's the what's the next thing we're gonna see? Well, tour tour didn't work this year. One because of this podcast. What podcast? Maybe <laughs> getting all the musicians together. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Routing that our own shit like it, it just was way harder than i think people realize and as far as a new project this year that's not gonna happen but i am not even a single no it's early his album yeah, I don't just know. dropped three. I, I would say i don't know realistically I first quarter i would do like a two pack or three pack or something mm-hmm. i've been working on some stuff mm-hmm. but to answer his uh dating question be honest with her yeah. it'll it'll probably hurt her for a second but it won't hurt her more than you've dragging it on and lying to her and then she finds out no. yeah she'll respect you more if you just be like yo i just don't i'm 24 i don't think this is working we're not on the same page you seem like you want to settle down now i'm young doing other shit it'll hurt her for a little bit but not the same way if he dragged that girl on and she found out later i would just say leave her alone ghost her ghost her ghost her kind of yeah no pussy yeah. then she just, just has that's the, not the pussy thought of like guess what i'm gonna tell her that i don't feel how she thinks i feel and then she's still not going to leave me alone. You don't think ghosting hurts people? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. This, Big this Dick. This girl's young. She'll probably, that'll probably hurt her. She, she'll get over it. She's 24. So maybe. why not do the honorable thing and just tell her straight up and she'll you get think, over it? You think women listen? I think if you're that's saying. You <laughs> stumped your ass. You didn't? think she's going to hear you and be like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to. I'll respect now. your space. Yeah. yeah she might it. try harder. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. No. Nah, or a- she might flip it and be like, well, you number three anyway. So it's all good. Yeah. Mm. Man, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Still beat. Yeah. She yeah could- still beat. See? See, that's what. A guy told me that when I was. When really I hurt our ego. If we are honest with them, like, I don't think this is working and like, I don't see this being serious. And they go, whoa, you thought this was serious? That will hurt you. Either. That would hurt. I feel like you, you may want to start like you like nah, that. You don't want to do that with me because then we're just gonna be sitting there hurting each other. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> playing past the phone. Yeah, because soon as <laughs> you play past the phone, as soon as as soon as you start talking crazy, you be like, "Well, what you thought this was serious? Like, no, please." Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, nah, your pussy was smiling a little funny last night. Anyway, <laughs> why you have to take it there? He always now we here. here. Now we here. And he be looking at Demaris. Then, yeah. right. but he then did she every time. Once you open, once you open the door and say, "Yo, you number three. All right, so now we here. Now we here. I didn't want to come here. You brought me here. That's one of the few times that. I do feel like women can use our tactic. You still beat though. 
Yeah. If I tell a girl That's who true. pussy stank, like, right, will you still continue okay, to fuck me? Okay, but look at the <laughs> missionary. Let's, let's focus for <laughs> with a nose plug. Yeah, for his sake. We're talking about. <laughs> you thought that was a kink? Yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I would assume a white guy. It's Nashville. And I'm sure he's fucking a white girl. Uh, you think still beat hits in that community? Yeah, no, yes. I think it started. Yes. Dude. No, it, it, it works. Every- like, let's do. I think a white boy started. I still beat. Nah, no nah. fucking 100%. way. One hundred percent. I'm There's telling no you, no way. I think a white boy looked at a girl and was like, "Oh, well, I still fuck. I still beat. I still dude. had sex, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's definitely in the white community. One hundred percent. Still beat is too much swag. It's not white. I'm saying it's not worded. It is say still beat. beat though. Oh, all right. Like I still yeah had sex still, with you. Yeah, I still fellatio. I still still gave me the pussy. Like yeah. I still have your tits on my phone, Bessie. Yeah, like okay. Bessie. Bessie was sick, but was she no. a horse? You got it. <laughs> All right. So in his case, ghosting's a have horrible my tits idea. On your phone. <laughs> okay, so you guys would be honest. You you'd hit her up. I've definitely ghosted girls before, but that it's shit is that shit is whack. It's tough. It is whack. It's, like, awful, you, it's a really awful thing. Like, when you, it is. It's not, when you when you look back and like you you like damn man, that was that was like some really whack shit. But I think, well, speaking for me, the reason why I I ghosted before is because. I tried to like pull away from the situation multiple times and it didn't work. And then it was kind of like, all right, like, I think we should just like, I don't want to waste her time. That's exactly why I say that. Like, just, just go your but way. He just hasn't tried to pull back. Tried. Okay. But yeah, that's not technically ghosting. I don't know how far you went into the conversations of saying, Hey, this isn't working out. But if you have that conversation and then you stop communicating, that's not ghosting. I told no, like you I've had those I told you it was over and, and like we now. still have some type of communication and then it was just like and you fucked again no, no see not after that okay now that's some that's some douchebag shit you, you mean like what you did again. no no I didn't fuck again but you ran to, into past partners in times you went you, a while you, and left you're gonna again. be the one to say that right now what that I didn't fuck and again? it was someone and then not fuck again yeah. you wanna no, 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 say that right now no 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 hold on wait wait don't you're taking out of context I'm saying the ghosting part I'm not saying someone that, like that's actually been my partner. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't say that. No, we've all fucked an ex before. We all fucked an ex before. <laughs> mm-hmm. My point is that you can't go someone and then I'm go and fuck again. Like that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> For, go, oh, ghost and, ghost then, and link then link back up and then link back up. That's douchebag. I've had here we go. Here we go. No, 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 no. Because I'm. See, the, he was I'm, projecting. I'm not projecting. I'm not. I've had I've had women say to me, "Live by that. <laughs> Live by that in my twenties." Is what? that is that her over there? I ain't seen her in like six months. <laughs> Yo, what you doing? Yo, it's good. Yo, we always pick right back up where we left off. Niggas is awful. Why you acting? <laughs> nah, you know what's the number one? The number one is yeah. Why you acting funny? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know how many times I said that and it worked? I'm like, I just, I'm back in. How did you this know how many work? times I've ghosted and then was like, Yo, why'd you ghost me? Yeah, but like, you still like, acting oh, funny. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely got oh, that. Of course. Before. You yeah. stop hitting me up. Just ask her if she's still acting funny. Like, yo, you still acting funny. And I don't want Jordan to go down the path that we've gone. Down. Yeah, we're we're douchebags. We're terrible. We're speaking people. from a place that we're not proud of that behavior. Yeah, we're, we're we've. Grown. I'm a changed man. I used to be a terrible guy. I'm a changed man. I've had women say to me, "I this is like this might be moving too fast, or we should end this," and then they would stop. Like they would tell me that, and I'm okay. like, okay, whatever. But then three months Sometimes later, it's just too good though. But three months later, they'll hit me up and be like, Hey, that's let's different. catch up. That's different. And I'm always, I'm open for it. Let's catch up. And then that usually turns into, but see, that. I think that's douchebag shit. Cause if you have had the conversation with her where you know that, Hey, this isn't, you know, I'm not really looking for, I haven't serious. No, She's like, I know that you're looking for something serious. And then she hits you because she gets lonely and she doesn't have self-respect and you go back and fuck her yeah. knowing that, you don't want. Wait, she don't have self respect. No, no, you're back? confusing. She told me I'm not she didn't about want in that situation. Oh. I'm talking about Jordan's situation and and Maul's situation. That's what I'm talking about. But I'm saying there's a world where maybe it reverse. Like Jordan tells her he doesn't want to do this because it's moving at a rate, or he doesn't see himself with this girl. And then, like two, three months from now, he might. You know what? The, the, the thing is, up. sometimes girls are thinking the same thing you are too I was about to More say often than this not, could yeah. end up being great for him once he has that conversation she'll look at him much better because he was straight up and yeah. honest with her he's not a douchebag and you could still fuck her every now and then because maybe she doesn't want to add another body and she actually thinks you're a good guy she so when she you. feels like fucking she may just hit you up and you guys have good conversation and then you leave it at that I've had that happen those, a lot to me those are extremely healthy situation not wanting to add another body will get you in some shit boy i tell you i gotta get a girlfriend man why we've been saying that for yeah no 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 like, just I'm, cl- hit. 
I'm at that point. I, I, Jordan I took you there? No, I'm just thinking about it. Like, <laughs> we, we've been talking to you for years, but Jordan got through. No, no, no. Because y'all wanted me to have, no, 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 y'all, y'all wanted me to have a girlfriend when like I didn't want to have her. Like I'm still out here throwing dick around. Like you look, that's get right, a girl. Yeah. That's right, get a girl. Man. Like for what? Like no, <laughs> stupid. So now you want one, but that doesn't. That strategy doesn't always work when you don't want to start throwing dick around. That then you start searching for a girlfriend. I've found with. Oh, no. Men and women, when they go searching oh, no, for a no, no, no. long-term Let's partner, be very clear. I'm it not searching never works. But you can be open. To, it's a yeah. difference between searching and being open to the possibility but do you, you now. <sighs> okay, but, and I don't want to be corny with a meet the right person, no. but you can be in a mind state of, I'm not looking for a relationship, interested in having one, and then or meet someone you. that would... That is you. We've had I, this I convo. But I don't think I'm like rare in that no case. you're not rare, that's how most but, relationships start yes but you're not rare in that but we already had the conversation about setting intentions now maul's intention is not to be a hoe anymore so now when women hey well, i've not been a hoe for many years okay yeah. the yeah, the arm tap was crazy oh. i was proud of him <laughs> now when he's women, performed when, his onus was deleted exactly so. okay mm. drea now when women enter into his life he's looking at them in a different light he's that's looking true. at the potential, potential of them different like he's measuring different things it's not that he's looking for a girlfriend he's just open to the idea now before he wasn't open to the idea you mm. couldn't have changed his mind tell him about your me. mind is would have been changed tell right? him about so you be waiting for somebody to come sweep you off your feet no 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 fuck him tell him he about me, wasn't baby. Mm. he wasn't he's not girl? like that he didn't want to be swept up. He, he didn't want to like be swept that. off. His he feet. didn't want to be Cinderella. People have tried to sweep him off his feet. He was stood no. planted Maul's on the got ground. A low center of gravity. Yeah, yeah. Maul Can't wasn't leaving a, a Jordan three at the party for no. For her to be like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone in the Bronx tried yeah. it on. No, nah. see if it was their Jordan three. Nah. I wasn't ready, but I think I think now, yeah, like I'm ready for a girl. I just hope oh. women don't judge you for your past and who you are now. And just know that that's none of their business. If I don't when, think my past is that crazy. Though. If and when you get a girlfriend, you just said ask, you, you fucked fuck 50 body bitches count. raw in one summer. That's I his, that's his past. past. Wow. That's, you do raw that's his past. When I ever said that? When I said raw. All right. Yeah, exactly. I was young. I was 24. That was his past. Damn. That. That's what you supposed to do. He's always going to go home to her. So that doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? When you get a girlfriend, are you going to bring her to us? Like, are you going to introduce her to us? That's not to us? Are you present her to us? Yeah. You already How do you view women? Rory's cousin. You want to yeah, bring Maul's girl to the I told you that in confidence. Am I going to bring Total confidence. Girl? I watched it happen. <laughs> you was there. <laughs> you mean like, will I introduce my girlfriend to you? Yeah, I, I should have yeah. said it better. Bring her on like a Patreon. I would never bring I would girl never. Girl. Yet. Oh, are you crazy? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? We you do a spinoff with her and Damaris. Never. My girlfriend? Two birds, yeah, one mic. My girlfriend would never be in front of a camera. Yo. You can hit him. That, no, was, that was hard. That was hard. I'm not going to lie. Wait, what happened? <laughs> he said two birds, one mic. Also, you just called your future girl a bird. I just want to say that. Yeah, I think both y'all could yeah. hit Julian right now. <laughs> it's okay. He but I get where you know how we throw the paws at we people. Have to pray, yeah. we have to we pray. Have to just throw candles at people. <laughs> yeah, too. we have. To, I got something for that ass. We have wow. to pray. Don't worry about it, cause when I fuck, I don't want to hear nothing. Uh, see, <laughs> y'all all said hey, you the said girl that job. crushed stop. the girl that crushed Julian's heart. Yeah. Oh, oh, she uh. crushed you, Julian. She she hurt you. We went on another coffee walk. Mm. Is that is so that one has potential? I would like it to, but you know, I can only control so much. Just remember, just remember. Wait, you she said did he went on once. another coffee walk? We did uh, yesterday. Oh, y'all went on one. An hour and a half. Damn, just drinking whole coffee, hour and a half the coffee city? walk? Right before the sketch, 10 a.m. What, what size coffee was that? It was like No one had to coffee. shit in between? You know what was the last no, time? 10 a.m. date? Damn. That's his thing, though. I know. He does like oh, that's cool. That's cool, though. That's I really, cool. I like, so it's it's not, and it's not like every, it's just her. You you like her this, I know you liked her before. Yeah. I know that. You I like her and more, I believe she doesn't like me. I know. Now, because she rejected yeah, you sex. and she came back. Yeah, but like okay. when we were like a thing. She was the girl that was really honest that she had been in a long-term relationship and she liked Julian, but this was too fast for her to go from relationship. She was out oh, like a six, were, seven, which, really pre- which was probably the truth. <laughs> Yeah. I just think because Julian's yeah. rarely rejected or wants to take a girl seriously, the one that he did finally rejected him. Yeah. So he likes this girl even more now. Yeah. I'm sure there's some That's of that in there. That's just the prototypical male shit. Great. Yeah. We want who we want who doesn't want us. That's human. Yeah, but like I, yeah, I get. There's probably that's probably some truth in that, but I just yeah, a lot of like truth her. You like her because she's not like the rest of these girls. She doesn't just like let you have what you want and like do your thing. Like yeah. no, she's letting you have her in the way that she wants you to have her. Which is coffee and a walk. Exactly. She's giving you like Which little pieces of that her. That is sick. Little I'll glimpses take of He'll her. take any little moment he can from Oh, uh, yeah. Like quality time. That's cute. Yeah. Quality been there. time. Hey, welcome back. I All right. see. All right. Bleep yourself. Yeah, now you're putting more edits. <laughs> That's fine. <Badass. laughs>
He gets so sensitive about that girl. Yeah, I don't, he I is. Her, that's his are. baby. That's his thing right yeah, there. That's, that's his, his thing. thing. No thing. That's his yeah, thing that's right his there. Thing. Well, oh, he gonna cry. You gonna cry when you see it with another dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, now nah, you'd, yeah, you'd be hurt. Well, he already cried when he found uh -oh. out she was in the Hamptons with her ex. Oh. She no, was in the Hamptons no, with her no, ex. No, 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 no. Who was she, she in Montauk? Home for a wedding. That's what it was. Okay, Long who was her? Who was she her date? Yeah. And it was her first. Was she close. didn't have a date. It was her first time seeing her ex since they broke up. Mm. She didn't have a date. Wait, he was at the wedding as well. well they, they grew up together, so yeah, they have all mutual. Oh, he hit that weekend <laughs> for oh. sure. I told him that. love was in the air. Yeah, whenever like a couple gets married, and, she like, broke up with him, with yeah, and no. apparently he, they're not on speaking terms. And she probably didn't want to add another body after mm -hmm. she added you and went back. It was open, it it was open I would, bar. I wouldn't hold that against her. It was open bar at the, at the I wedding. Think, I don't know, man. Sweetie, and I'm going to touch your hand. Sweetie's crazy. This. How many times have I told you that I wasn't on speaking terms with my ex? And I meant no, it when different. I said it. She's not no, like we have 200 Oh, she's not like no me? No offense. That's not, that you, sounds bad. Just because you know me and you really know me, you think that she's not like me. Girls be like that. You don't know her like that. Either way, it's her business. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. I don't sure. care. She can do whatever she wants. Doesn't that, just yeah, that's hurt. a lie. You care. He care. I don't. Yo, but we're you not care. Dating. We're not a thing. You we, care. We get coffee like once a month. You still would care if she's having. She, sex she's with obviously her ex. getting fucked. Like uh, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> she's an adult woman. She's an adult <laughs> grown woman in New York. She's not like, oh, that was it. I guess I'll lock this up till we connect again. No, yeah. I'm not stupid. She definitely let somebody get that cat. Probably. And that, well, that's what Were younger you? men need to realize. That's when you start getting over that whole other past thing. Once you realize that women are getting dick. They're getting fucked. Yeah, they're getting fucked. Like, yeah. they're, they're not fucking, going on these dry, not even like in our heads, dick. we're thinking like, oh, she probably hasn't, you know. Yeah. She, her last serious relationship was a year and a half ago. We hooked up in April. I'm pretty like, sure she's caught yeah, a body since April. Exactly. She's well, a, an adult woman in New York City. It's wild for me because like, I, when I say I don't care, I really do not care. And I don't, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Ma, like, that's a lie. I'm a little you, jealous. No, you haven't cared enough about a woman to care about that. That's my, that might be. No, that's not true. I'm talking about when it's over. Like, I don't... Oh, when it's yeah. all oh, over? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you know yeah, how I some mean, dudes be like, oh, she back with this, like... Because you're probably I, clocked out I by just that don't, time. I just don't... Yeah. yeah, I don't care. I'm you just detached. Like, I only yeah. care if someone does you, me dirty. Like the, No, that's fair. Well, totally describe fair. dirty. Uh, Shorty from... We talked about... The, ba the backpack. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I get not it. that loser. Oh, no. sorry. I, no. <laughs> Still, still hurts. <laughs> yeah, it still hurts. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm never... Well, I'm not going to... Instead of another voicemail, I do want to ask Maul... How are you gonna like start this journey? Ooh, like, yeah. Where are you gonna meet women? Like, where are you gonna? Like, oh, that's what I was just. How saying. you get active? Didn't I say that? Oh, uh, like last week I was like, damn, I have to start. Like, you gotta go to Last Lab. Oh, God, no, God, you gotta get the fuck off Instagram. Who? That's they're not. No he's way. not gonna find them in Instagram. I'm not trying to like find a girl on Instagram. But you don't leave the house. I feel like Instagram is the only but place. That's, you that's can what find I just one. said. I was like, I'm gonna have to really start like going to like gonna, my gonna friends. Gonna hang out with me and Julian? No, definitely not. When like when my friends hit me like, "Yo, we having this here," it's like I might have to start pulling up to shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, even though I don't want to, it's like, all right, I gotta go to this shit. But it's like I'm I'm obviously gonna have to start like going out more. Just to you like, can meet her at the highlight room. I would um, God, no. I would go just for like, you know, supportive purposes. I would go with you like speed dating. I don't want to no, speed God, date. No, please don't let him. Do you think it. I want to meet my girl on a speed date? Yeah, back to back Fuck with Rory. Me. Why? Speed Hell date twenty twenty three. Why? But why? They, they I'm not have going that? to no speed. Yeah, date I to went meet to my one. Girl. I'm, I go meet like a new girl, like to hang out and have fun. But this is not going to be my girlfriend. You not meet a girl that's at a speed date. Like, don't knock be? where you met. Yeah. She could still be so a speed, speed dating though. Yeah. No. So she's looking for love, and that somehow makes her undesirable to you. If you're looking for love and you're down to like speed dating is where you're at, I'm cool. But see, that's and see that's that was Fuck my problem. That means you trying to find it anywhere. No, no, that's the thing. That was my problem with getting on dating apps because it made me feel pathetic. I'm like, damn, am I? Is this like, am I pathetic? Like, does, are people gonna look at me like I can't get a date? Yeah. No, no, but they that's are. Modern, no, that, but no. they are though. Man. They're not. I, it's modern dating. You, you have a problem. It's modern you're dating. On, he's probably not a good you're, example. You're on every dating. No, but I used to view the dating apps like that until I worked at that ad agency and saw like exec women that are beautiful, great personality, money. They didn't had they'd had no time to go out and meet people. Mm -hmm. So they, they had to have some type of a personal life. All of them were on dating apps. And once like I yeah, realized I why they were on it, it was the complete opposite of pathetic. They had no time to go out. Yeah, exactly. Like that's Why where they I'm had to meet it. people. Yeah, and on, and on top of yeah, Julian, and on top of that, like <laughs> I mean, they weren't swiping on Julian. When we go you out, don't know. you don't know that. The, like the majority probably. of the time I go out, I'm either with you guys or like with someone of that kind of circle. I don't want to date in my circle, so I would have to escape my circle. When do I have time to do that? Yeah. Where would I even go to find people that are outside of my connections? Are you seeing what I'm saying? So that's why it's like. 
it's tough. It's not easy, especially being in the industry. That I don't think it makes you in. pathetic, though. That's but I felt like that, and a lot of people do look at it that like, oh, they you're on dating apps. That's but literally pathetic. modern dating. People be fighting each other on IG, on Twitter, sadly on Snapchat. Like Instagram a is a dating app. I say that all the time. Yeah, it definitely. Is. Exactly. All these apps are. That's what I'm saying. See, I don't use Instagram. As, I don't even know how y'all do that. So you just get your Explore DMs slid into. You never slid. In, you slid into DMs before. I slid into one man's DMs. Okay, and then Mad Dude slid into your DMs. I'm sure you replied to a couple. But I'm a girl, so I don't know who's a a, a Reddit fan or not. Oh. That's yeah, true. I can't just answer people's DMs. I don't, like, I don't know I don't know either. Your Someone intention. DM'd me and said, let's fight the other day. Oh, my God. Straight up. That's all he said. Let's fight. Yeah. Who is it? Someone, I don't know. I don't know. You didn't look at the picture? Like, I just didn't care enough to he research He like he had it. hands? I mean, he typed the, the response. He's got some fingers. <laughs> he could have done the talk talk to text yeah talk to text yo let's fight is funny as fuck yeah but Julian never had a fight I'd he's spar. also in his like request DMs and people are yeah let's fight is actually a very tame request DM yeah so yeah somebody just requested $2,200 like so what yeah it is like you said um, something happened he needed some money and I, I just read it like <laughs> so I'm supposed to just send you like yeah rent money minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like what's what's going on out there in the world? Hey, you gotta shoot your shot. Yeah, you shoot your shot. You no, yeah, but there's other ways to shoot your shot. How else would he be asking you for twenty two hundred dollars? You can't be asking me for no money, and I don't know you. Are you kidding me? I don't know two dollars. Have you ever sent someone money you didn't know that I didn't know? No. Yeah, you never no. contributed to a GoFundMe of like a oh, bad story. Yeah. Oh, that's different. That's different. I definitely no, have. Yeah, that's okay. different. But even those, I started I seeing those with scams. Too. I was just like, I started like. I'm not even reading it because sometimes it's just one of those stories where it's like, I can't leave this page now and not leave at least Five twenty, fifty dollars something. Yeah. You know when what I'm saying? When you do GoFundMe, do you put your name or anonymous? Mm. <laughs> That's a great question. I put my name. I put my name. Fuck out of here. You put a GoFundMe up for yourself before? No, no, no. Like no when, when you, you can see who donated. Oh, and, and, and the, the amount. Say, though, if like, you want to. It depends on the amount. People say you should go anonymous if you're a good person. I ain't a good person. Who gives well, a Well, you can also check off like how much you, you can hide how much you donated. You just put your name, right? Can you? No, both, I think there's I, both. Mean, I think you just hide your name. You can hide your name. You oh, can't yeah. hide how much you donate. It was one story that was just like, oh my god, I had to donate something. Like, how much did you donate? But then I be feeling like, damn, like is that real? Because I never, you never really like research to see if that's a real situation. If it's if if there's only one friend in between, I do it. Yeah. After I texted that number after the Haiti situation, oh I get shit, remember that? What was it called? Yeah, the oh. Wyclef bought a motorcycle. Yeah, the Coney shit. <laughs> Well, yeah. a motorcycle in 2012. 2012. Wow. Speedo. Yeah. yeah. That was a, that was a big yeah, ass right. scam. That was nasty. Yeah, that was nasty. We got another voicemail. That was it. Yeah, we can do one more. We can do another one. Yeah. There's a note that says Damaris has done this. Oh. <laughs> All right. Probably not positive. Oh, I know seconds. what it is. Go ahead. First off, I want to say pause before action is I just thought it would be really funny because I was just thinking about it. Um, Mo, is it hip hop? To dap your man up in the middle of a two man while y'all both butt naked and break up. I thought I thought we didn't we play this before. Answer this. No, I played this for you guys like just out in the studio days ago. And yeah, and and I, I think it. Damaris said. I said that I had done it before, but I, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. It's not hip hop to have sex with the. It's not hip hop for two dudes to have sex with the same girl. I just, I think we could just get away with, like throw that out the window like that to me is like trains like, so trains are no longer that's wow. just crazy that. yeah. that's like and that's wild yo but didn't you do train and it it was the worst experience of my life you didn't was it really the also worst experience it, of your life it was one of them like looking back I'm like yo bro what the like it's top, fuck was like, I but thinking? in the moment not looking back in the moment I mean in the moment you young it's like you don't know when you gonna really gonna get pussy again. Like when you that you know like when you're young like that you don't have a girlfriend you really don't know when the next time you are gonna get some pussy. That's true. So it's like <laughs> if it's a girl that's like a party girl and she's willing to like let you and your man hit you had a party, little function and she go in the room and your man like yo come in the room like she it's like you might because it's like nigga I ain't I don't know when I'm gonna get another opportunity but it's like looking back that is like the dumbest shit ever. Like you feel so like. Ew, like me and my man was naked, like with a girl. Like, did that change your friendship with that guy? Yeah, looking back, he's a piece of shit. I should have never had sex with a girl he was having sex with. It's like, ugh, like you, dog, you're you're nasty. Take but again, out, when you're young, you don't you don't know. Taking out a moment to do a high five is wild too. I yeah, I, I dap I dap my nigga up in the middle of a threesome. That's a little different. That's different. Yeah, but it, oh, it was a guy. But it's no, your, no. but you having a threesome with a girl and your and your boyfriend. Yeah, that's different. Oh, that's different. Yeah, that's, that's different. That's lit because that's, that's really like you know you're a couple and then y'all got a, you a girl in the bed with y'all and y'all had a great time. 
It's Your like boy? me and my homie is some some girl that's just like a loose goose at a party. Like a loose, loose goose. goose. Yeah, it's like, oh, like you guys were a little loose too, though. It was a... Yeah. Like there were three holes in the room, baby. One hundred percent. Like and that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like I'm not I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not doubting. I'm not saying that wasn't the case. I'm just saying looking back, <laughs> five holes. That's just not like trust well, me. I, well. I understand why guys do it when you're young. <laughs> yeah. You don't know when you're gonna have sex again. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it after like twenty five. But like, yeah, you should that's just not it's nothing cool about that. Imagine, like, I've, I always wonder, like, because you know a lot of men suffer from, like, erectile dysfunction or, like, they get nervous. So, like, if y'all both, like, running a train and, like, one of y'all go soft, that got to be real embarrassing. That's mad awkward with you. My, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, my whole boy, I remember one time, he, it's a story just like that. And they had some girl that they was fucking with. And he said, my homeboy, he was like, yo, this nigga couldn't get right. So I'm like, I'm on the phone. What are you talking about? He said, yo, he was gun shot. I was like, what does that mean? He was gummy warming? It was like he couldn't he couldn't get hard in the room with another dude in the room. I think that's fair, though. Yeah, I don't no, think that's erectile fair. dysfunction. No, I think that's, that's, that's just like, what are we doing right now? He just said he was yeah. gun shot. He was like, yo, he was gun shot. why are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, like, I'd, I wouldn't even say I was yeah. gun shot. Like, I just don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> no, he wanted to. <laughs> He just couldn't go yeah. through with it. I, I had a homeboy to. that took too much Molly. We had a girl in the room. It was like me, my homeboy, my other homeboy, and like some bitch we brought back world. to the house. And we were just all the worst. This was a long time ago, but we was just all fucking with the bitch. But my one homeboy had took Molly, and he could not get hard. I know his pain. So at one moment, like <laughs> the whole room was just kind of like looking at him struggling through the that whole shit. room. It was like four of us in there. I'd be tight. Was it like a train? Was it like a group sex? They were all having sex with her. Yeah. No, what you? Was I was doing? recording. I'm not jacking. That. I'm not jacking. That. I was recording. I'm not, I'm not jacking. That. That. I, okay, I'm not, I'm not jacking. jacking you that. was just Sorry. in the room. Sorry. Sorry. Four Sorry. people I naked, sw- and all you no. were doing was playing hype. Williams. It was one girl. It wasn't everybody wasn't having were sex with each other. The camera like it was him? one girl. You see what I'm saying? What did I do? To one you? girl that another girl was having sex with, another girl was having sex with, and then a guy was trying to have sex with. Oh, so it was three girls. It was three. Yes, it was three girls and oh, one oh. guy. And but we were all Dang. homies. We weren't. We weren't fucking each other. That's all the thing. All right, where's the footage? We had a bit. <laughs> with the footage. Where's she footage? You know, and I would this be nervous. This was like 2000. This was a very long time ago. This was over 10 years. On the podium. Damn. Even, even if it was consensual, that's just a story I keep to myself. What? It was consensual. It was consensual. And he could have so, so was Aziz's date. Who's that? Oh, Aziz yeah. Aziz Ansari when he got uh, pseudo me too'd. And with the amount of people girl in that story too, date. I'm sure you have a three-fourths chance that one of those people could wake up 10 years later and go, hey, I, I'm not comfortable now. Yeah, but his dick didn't <laughs> get hard. Yeah. yeah. He's just gummy worm. So he could me too her. Oh, he's saying, uh, you, he, oh, uh, reverse Uno. Huh. <laughs> For men's rights. All I'm saying is being in a room <laughs> with, four, with, with, with four girls and your dick and two, three of the girls is your home girls and your dick couldn't get hard. It was I, I told that that story uh, when I had my first potential threesome. I said it on this podcast yeah. when we were in You're coming, North right? Carolina on a track like spring break uh, yeah. thing. And I was overwhelmed at that young tender age. Mm hmm. I, I didn't. I didn't perform the way I should have. That don't count though. Like you, young man. I was nervous. Yeah, exactly. You supposed to be. I Once you know. pass twenty, I feel like you don't got an excuse. I was gonna say, do y'all still what? nervous? <laughs> what? <laughs> after twenty? No, I mean like after twenty, you shouldn't be getting nervous. Like when you going to fuck. That's I was, I was, I was eighteen. Gonna say, I was gonna say, do you guys Just still get nervous it. when you? fuck? That's not true. Because I remember the first no. time I have, I was about to have sex with the, this one girl that every dude thought was bad. You know, like your first like Baddie. solidified bad bitch. Like she looked good. Like you could have cute girls growing up. But this was like you about to fuck a she woman. Was a this was a woman. Woman. <laughs> like she was driving yeah. a BMW. Yeah. She had her own crib. Ooh. Like it was like she looked good. Yeah, I was I was probably twenty six and I was nervous as fuck. No bullshit. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, the nerves. I don't think to what mom because it, it, that wasn't like the first bet. But it was like she was like the one that everybody wanted. Mm-hmm. But the nerves don't come That's from, the, different. from having. It's not the sex that makes you nervous. The it's the person, person that yeah. gives you the nerves. Yeah, like, not I the like sex. this person. I put them on a higher pedestal. Exactly. Now I'm nervous. It's not like oh, I'm, I don't know how to fuck. That's oh yeah, because I still whatever. there's some men I, I've still gotten nervous around in my adult age. Who? Nigga, who you talking about? No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, fuck you. No, I'm saying because you got a, you have like a boyfriend, so I'm just trying to figure out who. I said in my adult age. Yeah, so you got a, yeah, you've a boyfriend. Been adult for a while. How do women get nervous? All they got to do is get on their back and open their legs. You never beaten the allegations. I'm just saying, how do you get nervous to fuck? You never beat your role Epstein in that Island is to get allegations. Fucked. We have to do much more. <laughs> 
We have to what? We have to do much more. <laughs> we do. I, I would get nervous with doing the coffee date shit for three months and then it's time to fuck. No. Then I'm nervous. See, but if that, we no, fuck it on the first night, I'm not going to be nervous at all. That's post fuck. But though. if I'm like, I know, but I'm in the situation of like, I like this person, we're, we're taking our time and then we get to that point where it's time to fuck, I might be nervous. Uh, that's that's even much. as an adult. I haven't been in that situation in a while because again, I'm someone that doesn't view that in a weird way. Like I've had relationships that come from fucking the first time. Yeah, that would be a lot. Like Sick, you're just setting up this whole shit. Mm. Like, why don't we fucking and also get to know each other? Okay. I, I'm with Roy on a, that. Like a three month pedestal of like, now we got to know each other. And what if there's no sexual chemistry? But who's mm. waiting three months to fuck? All right. Well, it's 2023. So let's That's say, a, let's say like, three weeks. Let's say three weeks. Three months? Let's just do a, let's just do a month. All right, let's um, say three, three hours. Let's do four, three, four dates. I mean, I, it took me, again, this is a long amount. It took me, it was like my either my third or fourth date before her and I had sex. But because it was like the three or four times of meeting, I, the longer it went on, the more nervous I was. That's how, that's how I feel. So I was to prove Rory's point, like, I'd rather so, just get it out the way. So once you had the sex, it was like it was, now it's whatever. Yeah, like now I'll do these like coffee. It's like it's whatever. Like yeah. if we if she's like, let's go back to yours. Yeah, I'm do whatever the fuck you want. It's but just you, like, it's the you initial. looked me in my face and told me, sorry, Ma, that you liked her more because she didn't let you fuck. I no, I'm saying I did. Like I get yeah, it. yeah, yeah, that's I get it. that doesn't change that. No, no we know I that's did. why he likes her because she's not like the rest. Yeah, she's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just this man shit. We love but, the chase. You know, it's not we do, meant we to be. We do love the chase. My knees hurt. Yep. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not trying to chase. Uh, hopefully we help. Uh, what's the gentleman's name? Jordan. Uh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan. 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 Hopefully we helped you. Uh, you know. And hopefully we helped the guy that wanted to be rock hard with his mans. Yeah, and dap him up. You know, yeah, you I, don't do that, that again. That's just this. Y'all too old for that shit. Yeah. Mm. yeah. A lot of germs now. It's just. Yeah, it's just you don't have to. It's just find another girl. Wear a mask. Remember monkeypox. That that what happened with that? They tried it. They, they tried. seen we wasn't going for it. <laughs> they tried. They did. They tried. I was going for it. I wasn't jacking that. I was not jacking the monkey. They, they, you, they tried. I was to go about to cancel route. all y'all yeah. because COVID. They started to realize stop scaring us as much, and then they were like, "All right, bet we're gonna put a bump in your face." Yeah. Now you're gonna be scared. Yeah. And that, we didn't fall for it. When no, I seen no it, hookah girl, lounges closed. I was that like, that shit all around her face. I was like, "Mom, I'm canceling y'all meet and greets." <laughs> Mom was like, "Really?" I'm like, "Nah, bro, that's gross." That ain't happening. That shit threw me off. They tried it, but that shit was nothing. Um, either way, hopefully we helped y'all today. Hopefully we had, you know, some engaging conversation that y'all could laugh, laugh with and laugh about. Um, yeah, and if you ghosting girls in 2023, stop. It's not a good, it's not a good thing. No. Or commit all the way and just be that human for the rest of your life and end up lonely. See? Like Rory. We'll be back it's next week for a new Wait, audio adventure. <laughs> a whole family <laughs> I have a family it's crazy <laughs> I'm not that's gay a, I have a family yeah, that's just a funny response like, Wait, I have a whole family there's a car seat in my car outside <laughs> yeah oh man hopefully y'all have fun man we'll talk to y'all soon be safe enjoy your, uh, your week uh, we'll be back in a few days to kick it with y'all I'm that nigga he's just ginger peace no